For centuries, humanity has looked to the sky for answers, building theories, imagining our position within a vast cosmic puzzle, and formulating equations. But all of that our physics, our cosmology, our comprehension of space and time has been completely shaken. Just recently, the James Webb Space Telescope revealed something it wasn't supposed to see, galaxies to old planets too big, structures to perfect, and a steady, rhythmic signal out of place and unnatural in any known astrophysical model. This is more than just a new discovery. It is a collision between what we believed and what is. The James Webb Telescope may have just delivered the most profound warning and invitation in human history. And if it's real, then everything we believe to be true about the universe is incorrect. Through a succession of deep field observations captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, some of the most detailed images of the universe ever seen were revealed. However, beauty was not the only thing hidden in those pictures. In the galaxy cluster AEL 2744, researchers found perfectly aligned light points and symmetrical structures creating patterns that are out of place in the chaotic world of galactic evolution. In NGC 1365, a spiral galaxy, unusual motion patterns suggested gravitational behavior that contradicted our most basic models. But it didn't stop there. Similar occurrences begin appearing in a number of images. The farther James Webb looked, the stranger the universe became, patterns repeating over billions of light years, geometric-looking structures in a universe that was supposed to be arbitrary. Researchers attempted to call it mere happenstance, but there were too many, too frequent, and too flawless. And slowly, the whispers began. Maybe we're not seeing randomness at all, but a form of order we simply don't yet understand. Among James Webb's many targets was an exoplanet named HIP 654-6b, located hundreds of light years away. What it revealed left astronomers perplexed, speechless. This planet, seven times the mass of Jupiter, orbits its star three times farther away than Neptune and exists around a star barely 15 million years old. Based on all existing hypotheses of planet formation, this planet ought not to exist. There's no visible protoplanetary disk, no residual material, no gravitational explanation for how such a huge world could form so far out so quickly and remain stable. Some researchers have begun to speculate. What if this planet isn't a product of its current system at all? What if it's a relic from a past cycle, a remnant from a star system that came before, transplanted in some way, reused, or deliberately placed? For now, there are no answers, merely a planet glimmering at over 1,000 degrees, suspended in a system that shouldn't have had time to create it. In one of the most surreal discoveries yet, James Webb imaged what's known as an Einstein ring, a gravitational lens caused by a massive foreground galaxy bending the light of one directly behind it. However, this ring surrounding the galaxy J418 is not a typical lens. It's nearly perfect a complete and broken circle of light that resembles mathematical symmetry. Even the most experienced astronomers were taken aback. For such a picture to exist, the alignment must be exact between the two galaxies, down to fractions of a degree across billions of light years. That's not just rare, that is statistically unlikely on a cosmic scale. And while gravitational lensing is a known phenomenon, the degree of perfection here raises far more questions than answers. Could this be a hint of some deeper symmetry embedded in spacetime itself, a warning that the cosmos is not as chaotic as we've assumed, but instead governed by a geometry we have only begun to comprehend? Music, but no discovery has rocked the scientific world as much as this. The James Webb Telescope has found massive, mature galaxies forming just 180 million years after the supposed Big Bang. That may sound far off, but in cosmic terms, that can't be true. According to our current models, galaxies shouldn't have had sufficient time to reach these sizes, organize themselves into spiral structures, or produce the brightness Webb has recorded. These galaxies are as fully formed and as big as the Milky Way, stable when the universe should have still been a chaotic sea of gas. This has thrown cosmologists for a loop. 
Because if the data are accurate, then our entire theory about how the universe started is collapsing. The Big Bang, long considered the foundation of contemporary cosmology, may no longer hold. And as some, far from any major galaxy, in a region, we detected something completely unexpected, the effect of a gravitational lens in a corner of the universe where nothing visible is real, no galaxies, no stars, no dark matter. Nonetheless, light from more distant galaxies bends, curves, and distorts as if a huge object is staying there. Astronomers have tentatively put this down to dark matter, a mass that we cannot see but which exerts gravitational force. But the exactness and force of this event are a problem with the lensing effect theory as the distortion is excessively strong and to localized. It doesn't act like a dispersed dark matter cloud. However, it acts just like an object, a structure with defined symmetry, mass, and edges. Could it be a concentrated cluster of dark matter in a form we do not yet comprehend? Or is this gravitational echo the remnant of something previous, something gone beyond? Now, some physicists are remaining quiet, circulating far more radical ideas that this isn't dark matter at all, but evidence of a structure or something invisible, ancient, and still warping space amid its stillness. One of the telescope's most contentious findings is the discovery of a huge intergalactic filament, a section of matter and galaxies so precisely aligned that it creates a structure larger than a billion light years long. Researchers have observed prior filaments, a component of the so-called cosmic web. However, this one is unique. Its repeating density and alignment have voids that almost resemble a grid, like a structure laid across the universe, whereas conventional cosmology asserts that these patterns are the result of gravitational attraction over time. The symmetry in this instance is difficult to ignore. The galaxies follow parallel paths. The clumps of dark matter are at exact intervals. Even the redshift in this region's readings demonstrates a regularity like a wave, as if the fabric of the universe in this region was deliberately engineered. Some researchers insist that our brains are programmed to look for patterns even when there are none, but currently, others suggest that if the universe possessed a builder or intelligence, this would be where we'd start to notice the fingerprints. Trying to find solutions to the gravitational anomalies, one idea has emerged from the outskirts into serious conversation. That dark matter, which has been regarded as an invisible and inert substance, may in fact carry information data not as we know it, but something more extensive, a global memory. In numerous web observations, groups of galaxies formed in configurations that appear to imply a distant past, formations that resembled echo chambers across time and space. What if dark matter, instead of being random, actually keeps remnants of earlier? Cosmic structures? What if, as the universe expands, this occult matter clings to gravitational imprints, shaping future galaxies based on previous alignments? It's a concept that blurs the distinction between philosophy and physics, implying that the universe has not only a beginning but also a memory. And if that's the case, then each spiral and every void might be part of a cluster, a design that is much older than we thought, but possibly the most chilling find, the one that few are willing to speak about yet. During a scan with a deep field, the James Webb Telescope recorded a series of pulses, light fluctuations that are too frequent for random, too insignificant to be derived from any known star. The signals didn't match the frequency of either quasars or pulsars. They appeared at precisely regular intervals, then disappeared completely. Initially, scientists thought it was a mistake interference, reflection, or even a processing error. However, after running the data through independent systems, the pattern remained. The point of origin showed no nebula, no stellar mass, and no heat signature, just a continuous flash, timed precisely as if measured or timed. NASA has declined to comment at this time. However, behind closed doors, researchers are asking a question that has echoed for decades. What if it's a message not intended for reception, but simply to be noticed? If so, who or what was meant to see it? 
construction of the James Webb Space Telescope was to reveal the past, to peel back the layers of time and show us what the universe was billions of years ago. But by doing so, it might have shown us something even more profound, that we are not just observers of the universe. We are a component of something much older, more precise, and crafted with greater care than we ever imagined. Galaxies that ought not to exist, planets defying gravity, signals without sources, structures that mirror intelligence, this is not just random noise. This is not merely fantasy engaging in a curious fling. These are data points real, measurable, undeniable that test the very foundation of our understanding. Furthermore, if the patterns are real, if the pulses are deliberate, if the universe remembers, we must face the most frightening possibility of all. We have never been alone, not in space, nor in thought, nor in time, because the James Webb might have uncovered more than just an early map of the universe. It may be a message left behind the times or a system that awaited us to examine further. And now that we have, the stars may never be seen by the world the same way again. So now we ask you, are these discoveries indications of something else? Or are we merely observing evidence of our own desire to find meaning in the void? Please inform us what you believe in the comments. And if you want to keep exploring the cosmic puzzles that the entire world is just starting to pay attention to, subscribe and activate the warning bell.